What up, y'all? Let's heck to the tech to the get that check. How fresh my head cut looking. Check that out. How fresh my head cut looking. Yo, you know what I mean? Check it out. About to head out of here. <clears throat> so what's everybody up to? Man, I want to talk about I want to talk about something deep. Deep, deep, deep. No, still. Yo, what up? It's your boy Hack to the Tech to the Get That Check. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just wanna, um. Talk to y'all about something, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if y'all know this. Some of y'all don't. Some of y'all do. I got a, I got a channel called Anxiety Panic Maniac or something like that. Anxiety Manic Pain, Panic Anxiety Maniac, something like that. Well. I suffer from anxiety and panic attacks, you know what I mean? And, um, um, you know, it's, uh, it's really, uh, it's really put, 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 um, it's really put like a hold on my, on my, on my, all my accomplishments in life, you know what I mean? Like, I could have been way more successful, way more successful if I wasn't mentally ill. You know, my mental health has not always been 100, you know what I mean? I could have been way more successful if, uh, my mental health was on point, you know. Um, all my life, I've been, I've been, uh, I've had issues, uh, you know. Since a kid, I've had, um, I've, I've had to deal with uh, Tourette syndrome and OCD and anxiety and. Um, of insecurities, you know what I mean, I was in a broken home, you know what I mean, and um, all, all that stuff just made me just uh, want to do bad things, like, like, uh, do drugs and drink. And, um, you know, this is for the young bucks growing up right now, you know what I mean, that have that same issue, you know, before, okay, I know, I know you're going through a hard time, you're going through a hard time, and, um, it's not easy, and I know you're going to be surrounded by bad influences, but I just want to catch catch that that one or that two or that three or however many it is, however many young bucks or young women, young dudes I could catch 
before they fall into the trap of bad influences and drugs and all of that. Let me just tell y'all, whatever you're going through, drugs and alcohol is just going to make it worse. Okay? Especially, especially in the long run. In the long run, drugs and alcohol is going to make it worse. That's a fact. You know? It's going to make it worse. Um, you're going to feel suicidal. You're going to get locked up. Listen, for all you young people out there, focus on your dreams. Stay sober. Another thing, relationships with women. Don't go falling in love so quick, you know what I mean? So early in, 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 in age, like, like at 14, 15, 16. You are not in love, man. That's baby love. There's no way you could really be in love at that age. You know what I mean? I thought I was in love at the age of 15, 16. But you know what? That relationship was one of the things that made me want to drink. It was a part of one of the things. You know what I mean? I just couldn't handle it. I wasn't mature enough. Then eventually, since I didn't know how to treat a woman, she left me, you know what I mean? We ended up breaking up. And, um, and it messed me up even more. You know, now, I was watching, I was watching, uh, I was watching this show on Hulu, no, on Amazon Prime. If any of y'all know, ever heard of Ricky Powell, Ricky Powell, the Rickster, Ricky Powell, the Rickster, um, the Lazy Hustler. <clears throat> Well, he has, he has a movie, well, it's not a movie, he has a documentary on Amazon Prime, on Amazon Prime right now, where he talk about his life, um, it's very sad, he was, yo, I met him, I met him, I mean, he passed away, but I met the dude. I met the dude a couple of years before he passed. I mean, I met the dude, he passed away, I think, last year, right? I met that dude, like, in 2018, I think. Um, I went to go do um, a radio show, and he did, a, and he came, he came on before me, you know what I'm saying? He had to do the same radio show, he came on before me. At that time, yo, I swear I did not know who he is, who he was. But this guy took the most famous pictures ever. I'm talking about Run DMC. Uh, Madonna. Uh, Mike Tyson. Um, um. He went on tour with uh, LL Cool J, uh, and and um, and um, and Run DMC, and they called him the fourth Beastie Boy, the fourth Beastie Boy, because that's how he got pretty much put on. You know what I'm saying? He became a photographer for the Beastie Boys. So if you go watch the the movie, I mean the the docu documentary. If y'all go watch it, y'all gonna see 
the history this guy had. And when I took, and when I met that dude that day, I saw him after the show. I took a picture with him, you know what I mean? Not knowing his history. When he passed away and I saw the documentary, I was like, whoa, this dude Ricky Powell was crazy. He was crazy. I mean, he was living the dream for real, but you know, he was, he was doing his thing, like doing the drug thing. But, but yeah, but, um, <clears throat> so pretty much, um, he got into a, re um, a, a relationship with a girl. Her name was Amy. You know, my first girlfriend was named Amy too. You know what I mean? And she left him for another dude. And, um, and, uh, his life wasn't, his life was crazy. His life was kind of like mine. You know what I mean? Um, he had a broken home. His, uh, he, he never met his pops. I mean, I know my pops, but you know what I'm saying? Like, but. You know, he he had a rough childhood at home, but um, um, but you know, this just added on to 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 him to his his heartbreak and his uh and his um, you know, to his um. You know, um, choosing the wrong route. I mean, if he would, I mean, if he would have just stayed off the drugs, you know what I mean, and the alcohol and the women, which is impossible in that lifestyle, right? It's impossible to live that lifestyle and stay off of that. So. In reality, you can't see it no other way. You just have to, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, he did change his life at the end. Like he tried, he tried to change his life, but you know, all those years abusing, abusing drugs and alcohol eventually caught up to him last year and uh, and he passed away Ricky Powell y'all go check y'all go check the flick out it's on it's on Amazon Prime is also on Hulu it's called Ricky Powell uh, the individualist um, you know what I mean um, it's dope it's a dope flick to check out um I met the dude. I put the picture on the default, and um, and um, yeah, man, it was crazy that um, I did not know a thing about this dude. This dude, he 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 went to Florida with nothing, with no money, and um, and he um, he went to um. A Beastie Boys and Run DMC show in Florida that was happening because he's he 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 saw it in like a newspaper or something like that, and um, so he flew out there with the little bit of money he had. He went to the show. He asked them if um oh. So, so, um, he went, he went, he went to the show and, um, he saw, he saw the Beastie Boys were there and the Beastie Boys were like, oh, what you doing here in Florida? And he was like, oh, I'm just, I'm just in town or whatever. And then, um, 
they took him on tour. They they told him hop in the bus, and then he went on tour with him. And since he was he was a photographer, he, you know, he took so many pictures of everything. Like he took pictures of everything, yo, everything, literally everything, bro. It's crazy, like all the pictures he took. You know what I'm saying? All the famous pictures he took, like Vin Diesel, Run DMC, Jam Master J, um, Lawrence Fishburne, uh, you name it, bro. You name it. You name it. Just go watch the flick. Ricky Powell, you know what I mean? Rest in peace to Ricky Powell. Anyway, like I was saying, all the young ones, don't go falling in love so quick. You know what I mean? Because that could mess you up. And if you got a dream, a goal, stick with it. But drugs and alcohol, don't. Drugs, alcohol, and dreams do not mix. You know what I mean? Unless somebody's putting you on. Unless you already know somebody that's on. And you know what I mean? Like, for example, ODB. ODB had a drug drug problem, right? But he had Prince. He had RZA and Jizza. They were putting everybody on. You know what I'm saying? If you get put on like that, I mean... Pfft, and then you get all this fame and stuff you can't handle. But um, if you really want to live the dream and you want everything to work out for you, at the end of the day, you got to you gotta stay sober. You got to, you know what I mean? That's just the way it is. You got to, you got to, um, you know, that's just my advice. That's how I look at things. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, I mean, I was getting a haircut, and uh, the guy had me in the barber, sh barber chair for like an hour. I fell asleep, so I just woke up. So don't blame me for being a little out of it right now. But anyway, it's your boy Hack to the Tech to the get that check. And I'm going to talk to y'all later. All right? Peace. Hey, what up, my peoples? And um, I just, I just, I just wanted, I just wanted to add on, I just wanted to add on to that Ricky Powell, to that Ricky Powell, um, that Ricky Powell um, story. I wanted to add on something too because um, um, when um. That day, that day that um that he had that radio show, and I went on after him. We was downstairs. We was downstairs, and um. And um. Let me remind you, I did not know who he was at that time. I did not know nothing about him. I did not know his history. You know what I'm saying. Until, until, um, until, um, until, um, a friend of mine, um, Kenny, Kenny told me who he was, you know what I'm saying? And, um, he showed me, he showed me pictures of him and then I realized, wow, I know that dude. And then, and then, and then like, and then like a month later he passed away or whatever. And, um... So so after that, um, after that I was like I was like you know, because that day, that day, when I met dude when I met Ricky Powell down, downstairs from the radio show, you know what I'm saying. And 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 we was taking pictures. We was taking pictures. I got so close to him, you know what I'm saying, that 
I think, I think he stole my GoPro. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Now check it out. I got a new one. I got a new one. New GoPro. But that day. And I'm gonna show y'all a clip, a little clip at the end of this video. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a clip where he's going through his pocket. He's like, oh no, no, no. Where he's acting like he lost something. You know what I'm saying? He acting like he lost something. I think he was predicting how I was going to act. Now, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Ricky Powell stole my GoPro. We got so close to each other. When I took the pic that he just went in my pocket and took my GoPro. Because I couldn't find my GoPro after that. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't find it. And then I asked my boy Kenny, yo. I told him the story and he said, that, 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 that would sound like, that sounds like something he would do. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, shout out to uh uh rest in peace to Ricky Powell, shout out to him and um damn if he really got my GoPro which I hope he don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not saying he did. I'm not saying he does. You know what I'm saying? I was with other people that night, that, that day. Never know. It could have been anybody that stole it. You know what I'm saying? Or took it or found it. And they just never returned it or whatever. Or they just, But there was footage in that. There was footage in that. Footage that I can't never get back. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, uh... It is what it is, man. Rest in peace, Ricky Powell. Go see that. Go see that. Um that 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 interview. Um, I mean that interview, that documentary on uh, Hulu or what is it? Uh Amazon Prime, Hulu. Um it's dope. It's dope. Remember, let me remind you, I did not know a thing about this dude until he passed away. Then I seen him and I seen and I was like, wow, I met this dude. I can't believe his history. See, yo, we got to do our history on people. You know what I'm saying? We really do. Really do, man. And if Ricky Powell stole my camera, yo, I'm glad he stole it. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad he's, because I got a part of history with him. Imagine he got my footage. He had, he had my footage and somebody found it. Somebody got that footage. You know what I'm saying? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Give me back my footage. Ah, right, yo, I'm out of here. Much love. Hack to the tech to the get that check. Yep. Oh, no, wait, so. Yep. Oh, no, wait, so.